Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for popping by. If you don't already know, then my name is Jodie and I'm mum to four little boys aged four and under. This is my youngest, Francesco, and he is five months old today. So I thought I would do a five month baby update for you just to let you know how he's been getting on and the milestones that he's been hitting and everything like that. So yeah, this is Francesco. If you haven't met him before, say hello. He is at Absolutely huge. He feels like he's a toddler already. He's getting so big so quick and I absolutely hate it. He just seems to be changing and growing every single day. Like he'll wake up in the morning and I'll pick him up and I swear he's heavier and chunkier and bigger. It's just not fair how fast the time goes. So today he is five months old and he really is so alert. He's trying to make loads of different sounds and he's talking back to you. So if you talk to him, he gets really, really excited and he does this cute little high pitched screech. So he just screeches when he is so happy and that's his way of communicating like and playing when he sees the boys he like stiffens up and gets so excited and just screeches and it's just so cute to watch. He is rolling over now and he's just rolling and rolling and rolling even more. So he started actually only two days ago rolling and now he can do it. He is just not stopped rolling he absolutely loves it and I think he thinks like he's getting somewhere so he'll roll over from his back to his front and obviously front to back but then he'll just keep going he can only do it one way at the moment so he ends up kind of just going to the other side of the room and when he hits the wall he's like ah I can't go any further <laughs> but he absolutely loves it and I noticed as well that when he is on his front he's He's like lifting up his bum as if to go onto his knees, but he's not going on his knees yet. So he's almost like planking, but shuffling forward a little bit. So he is moving that way as well. Um, and I think once he figures out how to put his knees down, then I think he'll be off, you know. He just seems to be doing so many things so much quicker. And I know every baby is different and they hit milestones at completely different ages. But this one is following the footsteps of Nico. Now Nico did everything like mega early in comparison to Lorenzo. So I'm not saying it's like early for what they should be doing it. But in comparison to Lorenzo, which is my first one, who I kind of, you know, judge everything by. Then it was early. Nico was walking by 10 months. And I really feel like Francesco is going the same way. He reminds me of Nico as a baby as well he was really quite solid um, you know he still looks very dainty but when you pick him up he is still solid so yeah he's just growing so quickly and learning so much he is um, obviously still on formula and he is drinking six to seven ounces every two and a half hours which seems like a lot and I feel like it's quite a lot but he's thriving and he's happy and he's um, putting on weight rapidly so I think he's doing absolutely fine. So I haven't started weaning him yet. I am going to hold off maybe just for like another month or so. Just um, yeah I don't, I don't know if he's 100% there yet but he is starting to take an interest in our food and what we eat. Every time I put my hand to my mouth, he's like, oh, what have you got? So I think he's probably going to be ready in the next few weeks and I'll probably give him a go then. But yeah, as of yet, he is still on milk. And sleep wise, he is a fantastic sleeper. I really can't complain. He went through a stage at about three months where he didn't sleep so well but I think maybe that was just a growing a growing phase because he's sleeping so well now. He'll go down at about seven. Oh, you dropped it. He'll go down at about seven o'clock and he'll sleep through usually till about one or two. He'll wake up uh, or he'll stir, so I'll just feed him and he'll sort of stay asleep, drink the whole bottle, burp and go back to sleep, no problem. At the moment, the last week he's been waking up at one and then again at four for a feed and a poo so I have to do a bum change and then he'll go back down again till about half past six um so it's not too bad I can't really complain actually he's so good so once he's um had his feed he'll go back to sleep and you know it's no bother nap times again he has one major nap in the morning usually of about two hours now and then he'll just cat nap during the day for 20 to 30 minutes maybe like three more times in the day 
and he is teething so much. He's just dribbling loads and as you can hear he's sucking on his fingers, he shoves his whole hand in his mouth, he loves this little teething toy. Um, I have actually done a teething essentials which um, have really helped us so if you're interested then I'll pop that link down below so make sure you go and check that video out after you finish watching this one. So yeah he is teething, he hasn't quite got a tooth yet but I can see them like I can see the two bottom ones you know that little white strip and they just haven't cut through yet but I think they're going to be there very soon and I don't actually know how much he weighs I haven't had him weighed in a very long time and I know that is bad but I know he's putting on weight he's drinking loads so he is absolutely just fine so yeah this is Francesco this is what he looks like at five months old he is just a solid little boy aren't you mister? Yes you are. You want to say hello? <gasps> so his interaction with his brothers now is just brilliant like he really understands when they come into the room and they pay attention to him and he absolutely loves the attention like when he wakes up from his nap the boys just go to him straight away and they're like Francesco's awake and straight away there's a huge beam on his face and it's just really the sweetest thing like their bond at the moment is just so lovely I absolutely love it yeah so he's just getting so big and I know I say it every time and I absolutely hate it but time really does go so quick and um, I can't believe it was five months ago that he was born like how are we already in June we're halfway through the year already it's just insane isn't it yeah are you trying to eat my finger now are you trying to eat my finger mister he absolutely loves his jumper roo at the moment and um, I don't obviously leave him in there for a long time you know if I'm cooking dinner and um, I'm in the kitchen then I tend to just pop him in there for a bit but he's really learned how to use his feet now and he's bouncing and he's playing with the toys fiddling with the frog yeah it's just really really cute to see him and he really quite enjoys it and obviously the boys can play with him more when he's in there as well it's really sweet he absolutely loves the jumper roo and he's got a bumbo seat as well that has like a, a toy tray on the front I sit him in there but not very often just because he's more of a fan of the jumper roo than he is the bumbo seat he is just absolutely so adorable and he's such a happy baby honestly I know people say it and I remember when I had Lorenzo and people would say oh yeah they're so happy and I just think oh god right really that he genuinely is and I think maybe that's just fourth children you know they've got so much going on around them they're actually just quite content to just sit there and watch everyone around them um, and obviously the boys are crazy so there's always stuff going on so he's always like oh what's going on but he absolutely loves to stand on his feet now as well like if you try and sit him on your lap he's not a fan he'll just want to stand up on his feet and just he tries to not walk but you know he's lifting one leg up and lifting up another and bouncing and and that kind of thing you're really quite strong aren't you mister oh nice dribble <laughs> but yeah he's just got the most cutest petite beautiful face I mean obviously I'm biased because he's my son but he honestly has the cutest most beautiful little face for a boy you are beautiful aren't you Poppet? yeah I know see he knows it as well but yeah I'm gonna leave you with that it's just a really really quick update for you nothing too much else to say I just wanted to come on and show you here because I did miss his four month update just because time just whizzed by and I couldn't believe that he was already four months and I thought oh no I haven't done an update video but I did actually do um, I think a four month update over my Instagram which I will link down below as well so if you're not a follower over there then make sure you go and follow me over there because I tend to upload every day if not every other day happy five months mister stop growing now please because I know we'll be celebrating your first birthday before we know it yeah won't we anyway thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video yeah so if you are not a subscriber I would absolutely love for you to go and subscribe and also while you're over there make sure you tap on the bell button because it will notify you whenever I upload and that way you won't miss a video thank you so oh uh oh, yucky. Oh, yucky. Thanks for that, mister. Do you feel better now? It's because you're putting your fingers down your throat. You little monster. Now I've got a sick on my chin. Oh, yummy. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye, bye, bye.